a student on their path to be a paragon of light, a squire on the path to be a cunning villain, a sailor on their path to be a wise master. What do they all have in common? Their choices to fulfill their destinies were fraught with challenges making for a story worth telling for the ages. Welcome to Call to Adventure. Call to Adventure is a card drafting game for one to five players from Brotherwise Games. Players will take turns taking traits, completing challenges, and throwing runes to craft a storied hero. Will your hero have the notoriety to be claimed as the greatest of all? Or will they fall just short and be cast in someone else's shadow? Let's find out in Call to Adventure. Deal each player a player board and deal each player two origin cards, two motivation cards, and two destiny cards. Each player chooses one of each to keep, then remove the rest from the game. Deal each player one hero card face down. This will remain hidden and give each player three experience tokens. Place your chosen origins card face up on the leftmost space, your motivation face up in the middle space, and your destiny card face down in the rightmost space. Place your hero marker on the third level of the corruption tracker. Shuffle the three story decks, the hero deck, and the anti-hero deck. If it's your first time playing, it's recommended to remove the allies and adversaries from the deck, as well as the related cards listed in the rulebook. Lay the Act 1 deck face down and reveal 4 face down cards in a 2 and 3 player game, or 5 face down cards in a 4 player game. Repeat this with Act 2 and Act 3 cards. Then, place the Hero and Anti-Hero decks face down near the Story decks. Place the Runes tray with the Core Runes, Ability Runes, and Dark Runes in the center of the table within reach of all players. Whoever finished a novel most recently goes first. When it's time to begin, flip the Act 1 cards over. Now. You are ready to play! Each turn you can choose to either gain a trait or attempt a challenge, and do one of the following actions as many times as you are able. Journey, use another card effect, or play a hero or anti-hero. Traits define your character's personality, profession, and life experiences. Traits only have one path listed at the top of the card. In order to take a trait, you must meet any of the prerequisites listed on the card. When you gain a trait, place it underneath your current storyline card with the top of the card visible. Any ability runes, story icons, or other rewards listed are now a part of your story. Challenges put your hero on the path to notoriety. In order to attempt a challenge, you must cast runes. Challenge cards will have the difficulty located on the upper left hand corner of the card, Either one path at the top of the card, or two paths, one at the top and one at the bottom, and the relevant runes listed under the difficulty. To complete the challenge, choose out loud which path you are taking. Then gather up your runes. You are always able to cast the three core runes. Then add one matching ability rune for each relevant rune listed in your story. You can add one dark rune for each experience token you spend, up to three times per turn. Then apply any card effects from Origins, Motivations, Hero, or Anti-Hero cards. Cast your runes by throwing them onto the table to see which side lands face up. Each rune that lands face up is worth two points. Each slash is worth one point. Blanks are worth zero points. The red diamond will give you an experience token, the black upside down triangle will give you an anti-hero card, and the white triangle will give you a hero card. If it has both triangles, you can choose whether you want to take a hero card or an anti-hero card. If you threw a dark rune, the slash will also give you one point, and the moon will give you two. However, it will also give you a point of corruption. Move your player token down one on your corruption track. Add up the total number showing on the cast runes to determine whether you passed or not. Take the hero, anti-hero, or experience tokens if you gained an icon. If you passed, place the card under your current act with the path you chose showing. If you didn't pass, the card is discarded, but you gain an experience token. When you take a card that has the hero or anti-hero symbol on it, take that card from the corresponding deck. If none of the cards on the table have runes related to your story, you can discard one for free. 
If you do not like any of the cards, you can pay one experience to discard a card. You can play hero and anti-hero cards at any time unless the card specifically dictates otherwise. Once you play a hero or anti-hero card, keep them face up near your player board. At the end of your turn, flip over a new card to replace the card that you took that round. Play then passes clockwise to the next player. Once a player has collected three cards under their current act, reveal the next act's cards. If you've collected three cards, you may not return to the previous act. However, if the next act is opened and you can complete one of those cards, that card will be placed under your current act. For example, if you haven't completed Act 1, but someone else has and revealed Act 2, you could complete an Act 2 card and place it under your origins instead of your motivation. Once a player has collected three cards under their origin, motivation, and destiny card, the end game begins. The rest of the players have one final turn to take cards to complete their story before scoring. Then, reveal your destiny cards and tell your character's story using the traits and challenges you collected. To determine the winner, add up all destiny and corruption points visible under your cards and on your cards. Add any points received from the story icons. Story icons will give you two points for matching icons. A pair with icons will give you two points, three will give you four points, and four or more will give you eight points. You will get a point for each experience token you have, and for each hero and anti-hero card you played. Then add in the triumph or tragedy points from the corruption track. These are not cumulative, you only gain points for the point value you are on. Finally, gain any points from your destiny card based on the requirements you have met. Whoever has the most points has proven themselves to be the most notable hero or most corrupt villain in the land. And that's Call to Adventure. You can watch us play this and many other board games on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7pm Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash boardgamehouse.